Hey what's up guys this is Sunlip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Pop OS and Windows 10 on UEFI system with grub menu so let's get started. First of all open your web browser to download Pop OS official ISO file. You can search for Pop OS on Google and go to its official website and download the Pop OS ISO file. There are two ISO files. If you have Nvidia graphics card then you need to download the Nvidia ISO file. Otherwise you need to download Intel ISO file. I have already downloaded the ISO file. After you have finished downloading you need to search for Rufus and download Rufus latest version in order to make our bootable USB pen drive. After downloading Rufus, you need to insert your pen drive which is at least 4 GB or more and then you need to open Rufus. Please make a backup of your data on pen drive because your pen drive will be formatted. Here select the pop os iso file which we just downloaded earlier and then click start. Since this process is gonna take some time, I'm going to cut this part. So finally this process is completed, now you need to close Rufus and then you need to right click on start menu and open disk management. Now select your local disk with largest space and then right click on it and select shrink volume. and give free space for pop os i recommend giving at least 20 gb in this video i'm going to give it 40 gb after that close disk management and then you need to restart your computer now while your computer is starting up press f2 key to enter bios setup and then go to security tab and disable secured boot if you haven't already and also in some laptops it would require you to set administrative password to in order to disable secure boot so please make sure to do that now press f10 key to save your settings and while your computer is starting up press f12 or escape key to enter boot menu choose generic flash disk or usb option and it will automatically boot into pop os installer Here choose your language and keyboard layout. Here be sure to choose custom option because if you choose the first option it will erase your whole disk. Now click on modify partitions and it will open gparted. Here right click on the free space which we just created on windows and select new and under new size type 512 and under file system choose fat32 and then create this partition. Now right click on the remaining free space and select new. Now we are going to create root partition so I'm going to give all the remaining free space and select file system as ext4. You can also create swap partition if you want but I'm not going to create it as it is totally optional. Now close gparted and wait for some time. Now you will see two new partitions. Now select the yellow partition and select mount point as slash boot slash efi and then select the green partition and select mount point as root which is forward slash. 
Now double check everything and select erase and install. Now type your desired username and give your desired password. Now this installation will take some time so I'm going to cut this part. Click on restart device and then it will automatically boot into pop os so we're going to fix that and we're going to add a grub menu. As you can see it directly booted into pop os without asking us to choose operating system now i'm just going to quickly set up pop os and then we are going to install grub menu Now we are going to install grub menu so open your terminal and type sudo apt update. Now type sudo apt install grub dash efi grub to common grub dash customizer and os proper. These commands will also be in the description box so you don't need to worry about that. Now type sudo grub dash install. Now type sudo cp slash boot slash grub slash x86 underscore 64 dash efi slash grub dot efi space slash boot slash efi slash capital efi slash pop slash grub x64 dot efi. After that exit from your terminal and open grub customizer. Click on file and then click on change environment and under outputs underscore file you need to set the value to slash boot slash efi slash capital efi slash pop slash grub dot cfg and then click on save this configuration and exit You can also change some other settings like appearance and timeout etc but I don't recommend you to change that right now. After that you need to save and exit grub customizer. Now let's restart our computer to check if grub menu is showing up or not. Now as you can see when we restart our computer, we are greeted by a grub menu. Now you can choose between the operating system at startup.
now let's try to boot on windows to check if windows is working or not There you go guys, we have successfully booted Windows 10 and Pop! OS using Grub menu. And that's it for the video for the dual boot part. Now if you want to remove Grub menu and Pop! OS, then watch the video till the end. Now to remove Pop! OS, we need to install Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It is a free software, go to its official website and download it. After downloading, install the program normally. Now open mini tool partition wizard and delete pop os partitions which we just created during the pop os installation. Now open disk management and select the local disk which is left of the free space and then click extend volume. Now your computer should automatically boot into windows next time. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked my video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.